Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours, morning prayer for March 19th. Today we celebrate St. Joseph, the husband of Mary. Let's have that moment of silence to prepare us for our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Take up your cross, the Savior said, if you would my disciple be. Deny yourself the world for sake, and humbly follow after me. Take up your cross, be not ashamed, let not disgrace your spirit fill for God himself endured to die upon a cross on Calvary's hill take up your cross and follow Christ nor think till death to lay it down for only they who bear the cross may hope to wear the glorious crown the shepherds went in haste found Joseph and Mary and the infant lying in the manger. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The shepherds went in haste, and found Joseph and Mary, and the infant lying in the manger. Joseph and Mary, the mother of Jesus, marveled as what was said of their child and simon blessed them bless the lord all your works of the lord praise and exalt him above all forever angels of the lord bless the lord you heavens bless the lord all your waters above the heavens bless the lord all your hosts of the lord bless the lord sun and moon bless the lord Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All your winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, Bless the Lord. Lightings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. 
You springs, springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praise worthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Joseph and Mary, the mother of Jesus, marvel at what was said of their child. And Simeon blessed them. Joseph rose in the night and took the child and his mother into Egypt. There they stayed until the death of Herod. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in his maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in feathers of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Joseph rose in the night, and took the child and his mother into Egypt. There they stayed until the death of Herod. A reading from the second book of Samuel. Lord God, you are God and your words are truth. You have made this generous promise to your servant. Do then bless the house of your servant that it may be before you forever. For you, Lord God, have promised. And by your blessing, the house of your servant shall be blessed forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's reading, we hear that God blesses the house of his servant. He is making reference to a very special servant. He chose Mary, and he also chose Joseph to fulfill salvation of all mankind. Today, we celebrate the solemnity of St. Joseph. St. Joseph, like Mother Mary, is not spoken of much in the scriptures. But we know that they were very, very special people because they raised Jesus to be the person that he was. St. Joseph was full of generosity. He had the gift of selflessness. He was very humble. He had an amazing faith and was very obedient. How many times did he get word from an angel through a dream and immediately obeyed to protect his family? How many times did he feel the Holy Spirit to do something and without any reservation responded? He is considered the patron and protector of the domestic church and the universal church. He lived a deep interior life 
was very faithful, very prayerful. And all this transcended to Jesus. And so today as we celebrate the solemnity of St. Joseph, we ask him to protect us and to continue to guide us towards Jesus Christ, just like Mother Mary. St. Joseph, pray for us. God made him the master of his household. God, God made, made him the master of his household. He gave him charge over all his possessions. And, and made, made him, him the master of his household. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. God made him the master of his household. Joseph lived in the town of Nazareth to fulfill what the prophets had foretold of Christ. He will be a Nazarene. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Joseph lived in the town of Nazareth to fulfill what the prophets had foretold of Christ. He will be called a Nazarene. The Lord is the giver of holiness. Let us turn to him and pray. Holy God, raise us up to a new life in holiness. Lord our God, you called our fathers in faith to walk before you in holiness of heart. May we follow in their footsteps and obey your command to be perfect. You chose Joseph the righteous to care for your son in childhood and youth. Teach us to care for Christ's body by caring for our brothers and sisters. You entrusted the earth to mankind, to people it may it prosper. Inspire us to work wholeheartedly in this world, seeking always to give you glory. Father of all mankind, do not forget what your hands have made. Grant that all who work may have secure employment and a fitting standard of living. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord God, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear God, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Lord, help us with your grace. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve its Lord, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.